Recovery Timeline for TKR Rehabilitation Stages and Physical Therapy Overview When you have total knee replacement, TKR, surgery, the recovery and rehabilitation process plays a crucial role in helping you get back on your feet and resume an active lifestyle. It can help you heal from surgery faster and greatly improve your chances for long-term success. It's important that you commit to a plan and push yourself to do as much as possible each day. Read on to learn what you can expect during the critical 12 weeks of recovery and rehab, and how to set goals for your healing. Day 1. Rehabilitation begins almost immediately after you wake up from surgery. Within the first 24 hours, you'll begin standing and walking using an assistive device with the help of a physical therapist, PT. In fact, it's critical to get up and use your artificial knee as soon as possible. Expect the PT to provide exercises that will help strengthen your muscles and guide you through them every day. Your PT will also demonstrate how to get in and out of your bed and move around with the aid of an assistive device, such as a walker, crutches, or a cane. They may ask you to sit at the side of the bed, walk a few steps, and transfer yourself to a bedside commode. A nurse or occupational therapist will help you with tasks such as changing the bandage, dressing, bathing, and using the toilet. The PT will also discuss your home environment and help you get set up with a continuous passive motion CPM, machine for use in the hospital room and possibly at home. Some people leave the operating room with their leg already in a CPM machine. The machine keeps your knee in motion to help prevent buildup of scar tissue and stiffness from immobility. Day 2. Your PT may ask you to walk for brief periods using an assistive device. They may also request that you use a regular toilet rather than a bedpan and ask you to try to climb a few steps at a time. You may be asked to continue using the CPM machine. As you recover from surgery, your activity level should increase. Discharge. By now your knee should be getting stronger and you should be able to increase your exercise and activity level. Your doctor will be shifting you from prescription strength painkillers to lower dose pain medication. Your PT may ask you to go on longer walks outside your hospital room, climb up and down a flight of stairs, move on to a chair or a toilet without assistance and reduce the use of a walker, crutches, or a cane. At discharge, you should be able to do the following, bend your knee well, preferably to a minimum of a 90 degree angle. Dress and bathe on your own. Minimally rely on an assistive device. Goals by discharge, get in and out of bed and perform transfers with the least amount of help possible using appropriate assistive devices. Walk at least 25 feet and go up and down stairs using a walker or crutches. Achieve a 90 degree range of motion with your knee so you can perform sit to stand transfers. Display an understanding of suggested exercise and activity. Discharge through week 3. You should be able to move around more freely while experiencing reduced pain by the time you're back home or in a rehab facility. You're likely to rely less and less on an assistive device. For example, if you needed a walker at the hospital, you'll probably be able to get by on crutches or a cane now. You should be engaged in a daily regimen of exercise as prescribed by your PT. Bathing and dressing should be easier, and you may be able to go outside for longer walks. You will require fewer and less powerful pain medications. Your doctor may ask you to keep using a CPM machine during this period. 